come my PJ pants. Yeah, because that doesn't look weird at all. <laughs> Whoosh! Get it, you guys. It's dry here. And today, this is kind of like a driving update. So, I'm going to just tell you guys how I'm doing with my driving. Because it's been, what, three months? January, February, March. It's been three months since I started driving. Um, it's not obviously to date. I should be about four months actually since I started driving. And my brow is sticking into me. That's great. Um, but I thought I'd tell you guys how I'm feeling about driving. Cause I think it's good to let it out. Um, I'm pretty, I feel like I'm pretty confident with driving. The only thing I'm not confident in is my directions and how close I am to certain things because I still don't know how much to the left I need to be or how much to the right I need to be and it's very kind of disorientating for me in a way. Another thing I'm not really comfortable with at this current moment is driving over 80 kilometers an hour. So for most of the part where I drive it's pretty okay, it's usually 60. There is the odd occasion where I do need to drive at 80 but overall it's pretty alright. But I thought I'd just let you know on my driving for that little moment, because I thought I'd let it out. But this is also, yeah, that's right, I'm sneaking this in. I thought I'd finally film, let I me mean, finally film, Types of Drivers Part 2, now that I drive. So I can do all the driving that I see. So that should be fun. So the first type I see is the uh, stop and go. So these are people who constantly just stop, go, stop, go, stop, go. Like you think they're part of some like ray where they go, mm, 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 mm. I've never been to a rave so I wouldn't know. But you know like the, that music that goes like dun, 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 dun. They're annoying. But I fully understand if it's an old player like me because you still kind of cautious the car and you don't really know and it's a bit weird but if you're not just stopping and going stop go like it can be very disorientating and weird the second type of driver is obviously of course your L players so the L players are very cautious either speed or they are 10 kilometers too slow there is no in between. I've done a little bit of both. I do more of the 10 kilometers too slow than speeding. I usually go maybe five kilometers over, but still. <laughs> so your learners are usually very stressed when they're driving. Like they're very clenched. They can be, have, they can make people not talk, not listen to music. Some uh, might be polar opposite. Most of the time they'll have their window down so then they can have fresh air. It's things like that. So these are the things I've noticed. Number three is your P players. P. Yeah, your P players. So your P players are people who, you know, their parents or their guardians or their person without a license isn't in the car and they're like, let's bump up this radio. You know, where are you guys in your car? I'm gonna take you and they're like, you know, drive along to the music, they don't really care what's happening. And it's scientifically proven that they're two times more likely to get in a car accident. So if you're a pee player, still keep your eyes on the road and not on someone else. Mm -hmm. But no, I've definitely seen a lot of pee players who either have a lot of people in the car or it's just themselves listening to music and they're driving and usually they're okay but you can still tell that they might drive slightly to the left or slightly to the right or they're still a bit iffy then there's a defensive drivers now there is two types of driving you can be a driver you can be defensive or reckless no in between I of course have parents who are both you know I have a defensive and what they call a reckless driver so the defensive one is, they think, all right, everyone's an idiot. I must drive 
like everyone is an idiot and they might pull into me, I'm gonna be on guard. You can tell because I might be a little bit stressed, don't like music up loud, all these things like that. And they're very much, if they teach you driving, they'll teach you that. Look at the people around you. Imagine them that they're all dumb. And you have to imagine that they might swerve and hit you. So you gotta be defensive and say, right, this person's gonna turn right, I need to break. Or if this person is gonna, person in front of me is gonna break, I'm gonna need to stop. Or if the person behind me starts speeding, I either continue my speed, or if need be, he can go around. It's as simple as that. The other one is a <laughs> reckless driver. <laughs> so the reckless drivers are usually people who are sitting there, they think it's a game of Mario Kart basically. Minus the items, it's Mario Kart for them. Or it's a bumper car. They are full on like, be, so if this is the reckless driver and someone else driving, they would be like right behind their butts. Cause too bad if this person breaks, there's gonna be a little bit of a car crash. They like to live dangerously. They're like right behind, they'll cut in front of people. There are some reckless people. And yes, don't say there's none of these around cause I've seen so many of them. So many reckless drivers that it blows my mind. The other driver I've seen as well is of course the Life is a highway. Your convertibles. These are the people who have obviously have convertible cars, they got their hands in the air, waving it like they just don't care. And they're just chilling along in there, you know, casually just going on some music with the hair down or with the hair up and the wind's blowing through it and they don't care. So, yeah. I think they're all the types of people I've seen on the road. Oh, of course they're gonna add this one in, the... Hey! Did I say you could drive? Boop, 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 boop. Beeps were swear words. These are the types of people who um, let's say bad mouths because we only got bad mouths so the bad mouthers will get angry at everyone I mean you could be one kilometre slow and they will start swearing at you they'll be like hey ba 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 so sorry I'm gonna put this on I just found it it was really cool <laughs> hold on There we go. Anyway, so these bad mouthers will basically yell at you and scream at you and say that it is your fault, even though that they might have cut in front of you. Even though they could have crashed into your car, they're still gonna blame you. Blamers is another word for them. These people like to swear, they like to do some, you know, a couple of these, a couple of the read between the lines, a couple of these, a couple of you know, and everything in between. They will yell and scream at you, even though you might have small kids in the car, they will still scream at you. I've had one case where it didn't happen to me, it happened to someone in front of me. We were part, like we were at um, a stop sign, you know, boom. We were at a red light, and we all stopped. And this guy got out the car from the lane next to us, walked over and hit the car door saying, you should have drove better and then got back in and drove off. Now what did that achieve? I'm gonna tell you the percentages, ready? Da -da 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 -ding. Oh look at that, zero. I did absolutely nothing, but somehow it made your life better. I'm gonna leave this video here, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you don't remember the part one video, go check that out, it has been a while. I'm back in the old room before we had this. <sighs> oh, good memories. Anyways, dry out says in the next video, sarcasm out is bringing for various guys to hope. Bye bye. Da -da 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 -da. Bye. Also, the other one could be your Grand Theft Auto people, because you know. Ch -ch -ch.